To begin, press the Escape button until you are at the main menu screen with Control, Status, and Setup. Using the down arrow, scroll through the list until the cursor is on display. You will see that the cursor will automatically go to the second column when it reaches the end of the first column. With Display selected, press the Enter key. The options you have on the Display Settings screen allow you to do several things, such as change the system date and time, with the cursor on date slash time, press Enter. Next, press Enter on date. This will give you an up and down arrow on the month. Using the up and down arrows will change this value. Press Enter to move to the next field. When you are done setting the date, press the Escape button. Repeat this process for the time field. All options are implemented immediately. Pressing Escape stores the change. It does not revert to the previous settings. If you make a mistake, you will need to go back in and change the settings to the desired value. When done changing the date and time, Press the Escape key to return to the Display menu. The next configurable option is Password. The Password option allows you to set an administrator password for access to certain areas and screens on the UPS. The Information screen will display information about the display. This is not configurable. The Beeper screen allows you to control the volume of the display beeping, such as when an alarm is present. Keep in mind, if you turn the volume off, the only indication you will receive of an alarm is the fault LED. The contrast screen adjusts the display brightness. The lower the number, the brighter the display. The final option, Config, lets you change what is displayed on the UPS Summary screen. The default is Battery Charge, Load Percentage, Voltage and Frequency, and Battery Capacity. You can access this screen by pressing the Escape button from the main menu. Press Escape a few times to return to the main menu screen. Press Escape one more time to display the summary screen. 